Hi everyone, welcome to session 4 of Catalon Intelligent Test Automation. Now in previous session we talked about how to use the record and play feature of Catalon. In this session we will go through the spyware feature and how to identify the X paths which we can use for our application. Now what is this spyware feature that Catalon offers? Now cat using this spyware feature uh, we can identify the X paths which we are going to use in our applications. Now there are two types of X paths that are available. One is the relative X path and one is the absolute X path. Now relative X path helps in referencing the element and identifying it from a particular location and absolute X path contains the complete path from the root of the element to the desired element. Spyware helps us capturing these X paths and using them to identify those web objects so that we can automate them. Now it helps in capturing these X paths and also it helps in gives you an option to add these X paths into the object repositories. So let's see how we can identify the X paths. Let me open Catalon. Now inside this tool, we will have this globe icon and a record option in it. Okay, so this is used for recording of web applications, which we covered in our last session. Now in here, next to it, there is something called spy web feature. So once we click on it, it will initialize a spy web. In here, we have to give a URL. So I will use so this is an online grocery delivering website called grozip.com. So what we need to do is we have to start this object spy with the browsers which we want. So once we click on select the browser, it will automatically navigate to that particular website which we are giving here. Okay, now we maximize it. Now each time you click on something, it will automatically add your X paths captured objects in here. So once you hover on your mouse, see it, it gives a red identification and the web objects are visible in top of this page. Okay, so how we can capture? We have to use Alt and this symbol. To capture that particular web object okay so for example you want to hit on this continue as guest web object so what we can do is we can use alt and Once we click on this using alt and this symbol, it will automatically fetch this data in for you. Okay, and once you click on that, it will give all the X path values in here. Now this is the absolute X path and these are all the relative X paths. Okay. So make sure that you have you identify your X paths based on your requirement. So if in your website the ID value changes, make sure that this ID value you don't use this ID as your property value. Use something else. So once you click on this attributes, you will see different uh, different tag names or text or X paths. 
use different values so that it will be unique now how you can use it once you click on this checkbox say I use tag or text and it will automatically create a selector for you and once you click on this verify and highlight it will automatically highlight it for you okay similarly we can identify multiple web objects using this button So it highlights this input part and you will also see this message one element found using this xpath selector okay now you always have different options to go to another new page element or new frame or new object okay, you also have option to delete and save this object into your web repository okay now we can always rename this keywords as well if you want we can change it also and once you click on this save it will give you where you want to save it you can always create a new folder also and once you click on this ok button it will save these particular web objects into our catalon system ok so this is how we are using the spywave feature so if you see inside this this particular keyword was added okay so this is how we use this spywave feature of growzip now there is another way how we can use it there is something called xpath checker okay so how we can download it we have to go to the go to this extensions and in here we have to open the chrome store and search xpath checker so this css and xpath checker is an extension which you can uh, download and once it is there it will give you this extension it, uh, this extension will be added now how we can identify let me open growzip.com again so this is an online delivering website grocery delivering website available in Bhubaneswar so if I want to identify anything what I can do is how I will identify the X paths so I have to click on this particular element go to inspect now here you can see all the property values of this particular web element okay so what I can do is I can use it says the input as the tag and it has placeholder value there it has name as search keyword okay which I can use it to identify the web objects so how, how I can use it is I will define the tag as input and I will use name as to identify my property value and I will give the value of the name in here
and it's it will give us give me one match please make sure that this one match is always there otherwise it will our script will fail so it is identifying now now what to do if we have multiple matches found so for example if i use this class Okay, this also has one match so if for example if I have a web element which is giving multiple matches here what I can do is I can use indexing where we need to add indexes so for example one one match is there so I gave the value of this index as one so if multiple matches are there I can just add values into it and check which is the match that is being identified example text contains cross so if i remove this Start. So we can use the text like this as well okay and use indexing when there are multiple matches found so this is how we use the xpath checker to identify different elements in our next session we will cover how to create this test case and add them into the test suits and execute them please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications of new sessions thank you so much